Hey everybody, this is Armando Mamanda. This is a look I kind of did as I went along. Um, it's basically, I'd say like a fire elemental tribal kind of look, I guess. Um, just showing it off for you a little bit. Okay, um... Just keep watching and I will show you how I did it. Like I said, I did this on the fly. Um, this originally was supposed to be a makeup that I had done prior, but then it started not to look like that, so I just changed it to this kind of thing. Alright, um, keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment if you like it. Hopefully I'll have a lot more out soon. Um, also, I'm probably talking through this video really quietly just because, um, I don't know. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna show you how I am going to do red cat eye drama thing makeup. First I'm going to start by putting in some of my Pinky Paradise red contacts. I'm not sure which one this is. I think it's Fasten Red. But um, they're like more of my favorite pair because the other pair that I did for that um, Godzilla Nosferatu video, they were like really wide and they're kind of, they kind of shift because I have astigmatism in my eye. So I'm going to use my smaller diameter ones. So now that these are in, I like these a lot just because you can kind of see the blue of my natural eye color poking out. Okay, now that these are in, um, time to move on to the foundation. As usual, I'm going to use my CoverGirl foundation. I really like it. It just it applies so nicely and it it like covers so nice. Next is the fun part. I'm going to start on my eyes. I'm going to start by applying my Open Decay Eye Primer. I really wish I had a better one, honestly. I mean, I don't know if this is the best, but my eyes water so, so much that it just... It's like I didn't even put on eyeshadow on one of my eyes. It like just completely like melts off or something. Anybody knows of like a great eye primer where like your basically your makeup stays on forever besides like a tattoo gun? Let me know in the comments below. Cause I would love to have, you know, eyeshadow last like longer than one hour before my eye starts to water and then I can't and I basically have to carry around all my makeup. And it's just annoying. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild palette called Enter a New Realm. I got it like during Halloween one year. My silver kind of broke out of it, but it's like the only makeup I could find at a drugstore that had red. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to apply it in a certain spot on my eyelid because I'm going to make it look a little bit elongated. Now, since I have hooded eyelids, I have to put on my makeup a little bit differently than everybody. So I'm just going to keep my eye like that. Don't try not to go like that because it will mess up your it'll, it like as soon as you like lower your eye. If you have like hooded eyelids, as soon as you go like this, everything you did like right here will just be like folded in and you won't be able to see it. So keep your eyes like like you're just looking natural. Okay, now that I have both eyes done, um, start to blend this wing out to the hairline. Okay, 
Alright, next I'm going to take some of my LA color palette. I'm not sure what kind it is. I think it's Wildflower. I'm going to use this color right there. And I'm going to use it near like the edge under like right here to make it pop out just a tiny little bit more. It'll also help make it look a tiny bit more red. Now from my Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette, I'm going to take some of the shark skin color with an angled brush, like that. And I'm going to trace over the bottom with this, because it's like kind of like a darkish purpley red. And it's just very good for um, like trying to contour like something red, obviously. Okay, after you have that all basically contoured out, I'm going to add my Loric Metal Pearl eyeshadow. I didn't buy this. Um, it was a gift to me from one of my art teachers. Her name is Shelly. She's very nice and also very talented and honestly, probably one of the reasons that made me want to get into makeup because her makeup was always flawless. Like I, She must be... Well, she'll tell you she's a witch, but I don't know. Some sort of she's some sort of makeup goddess. She just channels all the elements, and all of a sudden has makeup, and is beautiful. So I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna apply it to the very top of the red line that I have here. Using the same brush, I'm going to use the same LA color palette. And I'm going to do my bottom lid to like around there. I'm not going to actually go completely all the way down to my lash line. I'm just going to go like right underneath that red threads that I have there. Because I'm going to do like a darker goldy orange underneath that. Okay, now I'm going to take this palette that I got from Claire's. I don't know if it had a name on it or not because it's all wiped off from years and years of abuse because I'm not really kind to my stuff, which I should be, but I'm not. I'm going to take that yellow right there and I'm going to actually reapply where I put that golden color. Not the Loric one on top, but the one on the bottom.
be honest with you all. I'm basically making this up as I go along. But those are the makeups that are always the most fun. Sometimes they end in disaster, but sometimes it's really fun. I'm going to a little bit more yellow. And I'm going to take the orange of that and I'm going to put it on my lower lash line. And I'm kind of going to make it blend with the yellows and stuff that I had out here. I'm actually going to take the angle brush for that. So let's get this product on there and line the lash line. I actually took that orange and I connected it with the other side of my eye like this because I wanted it to be more tribal looking since I guess I am doing a weird kind of tribal thing. I'm going to take some hard candy yellow glittery eyeliner and I'm actually going to put these dots on my face to make them, you know, tribal. Can't really see them right now, but I'm sure once I get to the red part, you'll be able to see it a lot. I'm going to take my LA Colors Jumbo, Jumbo Eye Pencil and I'm going to outline right around here and I'm going to stop probably right here and kind of square it off. I'm going to take my angle brush and I'm going to actually blend it down a bit. Time for the gel eyeliner. You want to have a very nice clean line when you do this. I'm going to do the same thing with that gel eyeliner and blend it down a little bit just so that the line isn't so harsh. Okay, with a hard candy palette that I actually got from Wookie Love um, on Christmas, I'm going to use this right here. I'm going to use that to fill in my eyebrows with it. 
me and Wookie Love are, uh, we actually became friends through Spencer is where we work. And I think what sealed the deal is that I drew her flying away from Spencer's with her dreadlocks. I think you can find that on Instagram somewhere. And I think that's when we became friends. <laughs> I'm going to put a link in the bottom so you can go to her channel. Because she'll teach you how to be a unicorn mermaid sea monster, basically. Because that's what she is. Okay, now I'm going to actually take this color and I'm going to make my eyebrows look like they go and wing up like that. I'm actually going to take this wine color down here and I'm going to use that to trace underneath here to make my eyebrow under here look a lot more darker. Especially since um, it's like touching the Loric gold powder that I have right here so it's making it kind of a bright orange so hopefully that will make it a little bit more darker. I'm taking this yellow crayon, face crayon thing thingy that you can get at Halloween with like any makeup kit really and I'm actually filling in the yellow that I did on top of there because it's actually a lot brighter. And like I said, I'm kind of making it up as I go along so sorry if it's not like uniform or something. I also have a red one, but I think I'm going to do some sort of tribal mark sort of deal. right here that I'm actually going to take my angle brush and pull down. I also um, put a little bit at the tips of my, or at the ends of my eyelash line, and I'm going to also blend that out with the same angle brush as well. These are cool to use, but they are so freaking messy. That's why I generally don't use them and I forget that I have them a lot. Like I said, I'm going to take this and blend it down so that it comes to a nice point. Now I'm going to blend that orange and red at the end. Next I'm going to take my white face powder that I use all the time, apparently. <laughs> I bought it one time thinking that I was just going to use it for Halloween and then I never stopped using it because I love it so much. I'm going to take a little foundation brush that I have and I'm going to use that to help contour my face. Who knew that if you just bought some cheap face powder from Hot Topic that you'd use it in almost like your everyday makeup routine. 
Okay, so I'm gonna use that right in here. Okay, so we're gonna put it up in here. Oh. Try not to touch your little tribal markings that you did. Now, I'm going to take my matte eyeshadow that I got, or not matte eyeshadow, matte blush that I got from Rue 21. Fairly cheap and I love it. It was six bucks and you get a lot, a lot of stuff for six bucks. This will probably last me like a year or something. And I'm going to use the dark color up there to help contour my cheekbones. Because I'm going to try to make them look really, really pronounced. So, I'm just going to gently on it. Across like that. Don't have to do the same on the other side. so that it's not so harsh I'm going to take regular foundation brush or powder brush I don't know I don't know what kind of brush it is to be honest it's a brush and I'm gonna blend it out a little bit more so it's not so thick and I'm going to do the same to the other side Now something I like to do is trace my jawline because I'm chunky and I got a double chin sometimes. So I am going to place that powder down here and trace out my jawline so that I don't look so chunky. It just helps my jaw stick out a little bit more. And I'm going to bend that down. Then I'm going to take that same face powder. In that same foundation brush. I'm actually going to place it right at the edge of the jaw so that it looks like it stands out a lot more. I'm taking that same thing, I'm going to use the brown, and I want to use that to contour my nose because why not? contour my nose I start from like the tip of my eyebrow and I just bring that down very gently especially now since I have like other stuff going on like that red tribal marking I'm trying not to bump or smudge it or anything next step I'm gonna do the lips which I'm gonna take the white face powder again and I'm gonna apply it on my upper lip like that 
take the foundation brush, or powder brush, whatever it is, my brush, whatever it is, just so that this is kind of hidden. I'm going to take some black lipstick that I got for Halloween. I'm just going to apply it just on my bottom lip because this is going to be a tribal look. I want to be tribal. And then I'm actually going to net this. I find a brush with some black eyeshadow. I'm just gonna use the hard candy black eyeshadow because it's the closest eyeshadow I have. I'm just gonna pat it so that it's not so shiny. Next, I'm gonna take two gel eyeliners that I have, or liquid eyeliners I have really, from Black Heart that you can get at any Hot Topic. I really like liquid eyeliner. The first one I'm going to take is actually going to be a design that I'm going to do for my lips down here. It's not really that much of a design. It's like a metallic-y black color. And I am just going to start right there. Next, I'm going to take my other one, which is a glittery black eyeliner, and I'm actually going to place it under, or right where the other black eyeliner is. Now, to finish it, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Lash Out Butterfly Mascara. as you can tell. I think I'm going to leave it like this. I kind of like it. Really tribal. Kind of reminds me of Star Wars just a little bit. Alright. Hope you enjoyed.